Grimm's a place. Welcome to Grimm's. I'm Grimm. It is eight o'clock, and uh, we are all joined here together to celebrate the first live stream of Grimm's Tavern. And uh, I just wanted to, <laughs> by the way, I just wanted to address the elephant in the room before we get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, I know you're probably looking at me thinking, "Did you get a haircut?" I did not. I've changed slightly, but I feel like a new man. This is a new backdrop, and this is a new camera, and a new desk that you can't even see, so that's a little self-serving, but there's a lot of change coming, and the reason that I wanted to say this to you is because I sympathize, and I understand that when change comes, you need some familiarity, something you can link yourself to and feel confident in, so I brought you something to help, a little bit of nostalgia, something you may be familiar with, familiar faces, that is, our wonderful patrons, Virtual round of applause. <laughs> Sucking the taps dry. No hesitation to force their inebriation. They are here in spades. And uh, we're going to go around the table and say hello to Lisa. Hi. Mr. Mark. How's it going? Saren. Hi. And last but certainly not least, Mr. Calvin. Hello, hello. Now I know what you're thinking. You're looking at Calvin and you're thinking, was he in a movie? I don't know, but he was indeed grim for all of season one, and when I say was, I mean is, because the Ravnica stories are going to continue. Every uh, now and again on YouTube, we're going to pop him in there, because honestly, we don't know if we can do this every Friday, and we want to feed you with some Grimm's goodness when we can. So that's what we're going to do. So check that out. Uh, we'll be putting up some stuff probably this week. Uh, our first game's already recorded, by the way, so hopefully we can get that uh, to you soon. Now... Oh, the chat's going. Everything's good. Okay. Yeah. We're just in a good mood. Things are working, and it's like you wonder if it's going to work, and then it's yeah. working. It's great. So, <laughs> that's right. Um, so, before I get into things, does anyone want to say anything, or should I just get right to it? Right to it. Oh, is it like yeah. and subscribe? Oh, oh yes. that bunch Both. of YouTube stuff. <laughs> yes. We'll so, say if you YouTube, we'll probably share. Oh, we're on like Twitch. Tell your you friends. Could... To Instagram. No, it just doesn't. Matter. <laughs> Look. We know the deal, but we're going to say it anyways. Like and subscribe. We want to become as big as we can, not because we're egocentric, but just because we want to be able to spread the love of the thing that we enjoy across the internet for those to enjoy with us. Um, and we're egotistical. So yes. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to get into something, speaking of new, a whole new world. Cue Aladdin. No, but this <laughs> world is going to be a little bit different. See, uh, Calvin and I have very different DMing styles, so I just wanted to put it out there. If you're the type of person that looks at your rule book and you go, well, you know, technically, when I uh, facilitate the, the jump action, it's a... Uh, I take offense to that. I just want to <laughs> say, <laughs> if you're that kind of person, you can probably throw your laptop out. Uh, you can't roll acrobatics for a climb, is all I'm saying. I'm just saying, if you, if you do a backflip, you, you can. Black Widow would do it. <laughs> yeah. See, Black see this is the kind of thing that we're going to get into yeah. here because the main goal is to have fun and that's what this is going to be about. So uh, we're throwing caution to the wind and we're just going to let our freak flag fly. Hell now, yeah. with that in mind, we're going to go on a little adventure. I'm going to take you to the setting oh, of season two. Oh yeah, nice and close. <laughs> Everyone ready? Mm-hmm. Here we go. I'm going to take you to a place very special to me. A big, beautiful landmass called Cathic. Let's dive into the blue-green waters that slosh against its shore and find ourselves smack dab in the middle of it. In a beautiful city called Personis. Now this town isn't like any other town. It's similar, for sure, as all towns are, but there's something different about this. It has a hustle, a bustle, a saturation to it that you can't quite put your finger on. And you notice it every morning in the market. You can hear the kids running and playing and screaming and having fun as the parents yell and barter and haggle. And the clickety clacks of the carts down the street. And the colors seem more vibrant. The blues are more blue and the reds are more red. And even amongst all that white noise, you can still hear the birds chirping and the wind through the trees. Picture perfect, I do say. But alas, this is not where our story takes us. Our story takes us about eight blocks south. <laughs> oh no. To a different area. Still oh. cool, not slummy, but not great either. A little bit of crime, but that's okay because our heroes are a special kind of heroes. They're frugal. And where there's crime, there's low real estate. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So in the middle of this beautiful city, in the middle of this beautiful continent, we reach a row of 
retail units stacked side by side, <laughs> crunched together like a family photo that you can't quite get your uncle into, where they're so much <laughs> taller than they are wide. And row after row, these brown wooden doors, until we get to the middle. And we see one unit there with a bright red door. Painted and touched up with slightly different shades of red throughout the course of the years. <laughs> Thinking pride in something that is essentially polishing a turd, but my god, it's his turd. It's not budgetary restrictions, it's that they haven't standardized pigmentation. Whatever. <laughs> it's sun fading, what are you going to do? <laughs> so inside of this, uh, well first of all, this storefront is a very special storefront because it belongs to uh, one of the heroes in our story. Uh, Calvin, what is this storefront called? All right, this dilapidated building, which is my house, thank you, as well as my place of business, and I am a professional. It's decent. Is called Care for the Victim. Care for the Victim. Um, yeah, it, uh, it's a very nice way of kind of letting people know that we're good people, and also it advertises the fact that we are um, private eyes, and we will find people who have gone missing, poor lost souls. We'll also bounty hunt the people who create those victims and we'll we'll give them all of the care that they require uh, that the victims can't quite reciprocate nice. back to them so nice. yeah we're uh, we're in business That's and those doors are always here. open and we need the money through those doors yeah. uh, <laughs> you, you certainly do through those doors there's a uh, stocky very short plump uh, halfling with a very long very slender cigarette down to almost just the end, as she sort of half works and smokes in the front room. And through those doors, right behind her, is an office. Your office, Calvin. And as we go in there, we see you and Carrie, Saren's character, fiddling away with paperwork and money, trying to figure out how you can make the rent. So, as we zoom in, why don't you tell us what the audience would see if they saw your character? All right, well, uh, if you're looking at Victor mm -hmm. Benelophon, you would see an, an elf, mm -hmm. but you would be slightly confused at whether it is in fact an elf that you're seeing or some kind of degenerative half-breed of some sort. The ears are not quite as pointy or elongated as a normal elves. In fact, if you look particularly close, you can see that there's marks, scars of some kind of ear reshaping surgery that's gone on there. Mm. Um, the man's height, he, uh, if it weren't for shoes that kind of lift him up that last inch, <laughs> he is just shy of six feet and yeah. bugs the ever-loving crap out of him. Yeah. That's why even indoors in his office, he's got his, like, platforms with him. Lying on your dating profile. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but he is a thin, kind of uh, acrobatic, lithe, mm -hmm. lean build, very efficient, um... He likes to say it's because of his intense training regime. It's actually a lot due to not being able to feed himself and put on the extra pounds. Nice. Uh, but he has very well-to-do clothes that uh, you would be probably surprised to find on a man working in an office like, like this until you, again, look ever so closer in and realize that the threads that repair some of the nice buttons are different colors. Uh, you can tell that the buttons have fallen off. You can see that some of the lining is stitched with threading that is off color from the rest. Much like the doorway, you do your best with what you have. Yes. He tries to keep it up, but access to a great deal of money has long since slipped him by. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> and beside him, we see Carrie, Saren's wonderful character. Saren, why don't you explain to the wonderful people in the internet what they would see if they saw Carrie? So, as soon as they see Carrie, they'll see a half hour woman mm -hmm. she looks a little bit androgynous in the way that she's carrying herself she's she stands very tall very manly like broad shoulders or trying to make them look as broad as she can even without her armor on she don't moment. need no man no oh no <laughs> <laughs> she um She's not wearing her arm at the moment, just because she's in her house. She feels a little bit safer, but you can see that she's wearing her under armor. Mm -hmm. There yeah. is, it's a long like dress going down to the floor almost. And <laughs> um, when she's walking about, you do see that there is little poppers in mm -hmm. the dress. that kind of like open up a little bit. And then you uh. see a flash of her dagger that's always close to her leg. Uh. That she's, even though she's not appearing to be carrying any weaponry or... On. She gonna cut a bitch. Oh yeah, like if, <laughs> mm -hmm. if someone tries to run into this house, she is ready and gonna stab a bitch if she needs to. Yes. So. That's what I wanted oh, to hear. Oh, and then her, 
she's got like dark eyebrows and then her hair is platinum blonde and Ooh. clearly just been slashed like the whole Mulan thing. Give it the it's sword like, treatment. <laughs> yeah, just like slash short so it just when she has her like helmets to the side by the front door and clearly when she has her helmet on it nice. covers up where her hair is. Nice. So, so you're kind of pulling the almost the guy in the armed forces yes. kind of vibe. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I love it. Mm-hmm. But she then has her like little bit of ladiness when she's <laughs> just standing around and nice. Yeah. So as you guys sit there and kind of go over some paperwork and stuff, you notice a little ring that you're familiar with. It's the sound of your front door, the ding ding ding. ding. <sighs> and through the door, you can hear, "Hello." Hit me in a second. And through the side door comes this plump little fat thing smoking hey beautiful so there's a guy here to see you looks like you might have some work on the table <laughs> i just wanted you to know i'm proud of you do you want me to make him wait um no i'm not uh, busy at the moment i th- i think i'll see him myself right away why don't you just remove yourself as quickly as possible from his line of sight I oh, think... I'll go home. Good. Oh. I would prefer that. Oh, good. I'm going to watch my stories. All right. It's just the neighbors. They don't know I watch. <laughs> <laughs> and she grabs wow. a little bag and gets out the front door, and you can see it through around the corner in the sofa in the waiting room. There is a gentleman. Looks a little bit worse for wear. It's not so much that he's uh, roughed up. It's more just he's dirty to the point where you can't quite get it clean. Uh, yeah, all under the fingernails and everything. And mm-hmm. he's there, just got his hat in his hand, just kind of folding it over, waiting. Good day, sir. How uh, may I be uh, of service to you? Uh, you mind if I came in there? Just... Oh, by all means, come on in. Uh, yeah. Carrie, would you mind putting on a spot of tea for this man? Uh, um, of course. Yeah, um, tea. Where, where's the tea? Well, no. scrounge some... There no, are leaves on a bush out of the window out the back. Okay. Do something. <laughs> okay, I'll just go into the kitchen. I don't want to um, make a fuss for anybody. He just, oh, no, no, no. Uh, you see, I was hoping maybe you could help me. I've got a bit of an issue. Yeah, see, uh, me and the boys, we work mining uh, the minerals there from the volcano to the east. And, uh, right. well, I'm not quite sure how to explain it, but over the last maybe two and a half days or so, things have been getting a little bit weird. We heard mm. some sightings of maybe some, uh, like, a rodent or something. I can't quite put my finger on it, but something anyways, scurrying around, and we didn't really put too much stock in it. But then, well, over the last couple of days, it's been getting hot. That volcano ain't been active in forever, but now it's starting to, it seems like it's starting to work back up again. The boys are scared to go in there. Things are falling down. I burned off three pairs of shoes in the last few days, and we can't get them out of there. As soon as you go to touch them, they start burning you, and you think you got rid of them, and then more pop up. I know it's kind of menial work, but... Maybe you could give us a hand. We can't work in there, and every day we don't work, we lose money, so. Very good. Now, um, good sir, I have to ask for a little bit of a clarification, because it will affect the price of the job, of course. Yeah, of course, of course. Would you like us to merely ascertain exactly what it is that is causing you all of these problems? That would be for a very minor fee, yeah. and we'll be in and out in no problem. Then you can deploy some other team if you have greater funds. Or would you like us to solve it through and through from start to finish? Well, we'll be honest with you, uh, if you could just take care of it completely, that would probably be best. Knowing my luck, I'd just find out I was in for something over my head, and then I'd have to find someone to do the job anyway, so if you wouldn't mind. Very good, very good. All right, I'm interested. Uh, we're we're an yeah, organisation that here. looks to help the average man, I can tell you that much, and our prices are very affordable. Mm-hmm. As soon as I hear that there's like something happening that's bad that they're like getting attacked and yeah. things, instantly stop making the tea and just come back in. Like the walls aren't that thick. <laughs> yeah. No, they're not. Like I can just hear you, so I'm coming back into the room and sitting down with you. The insulation is the dust that's in the walls. No. Oh, yeah. That's about to <laughs> How does that much dust get in the walls? <laughs> Where's the opening? They should be sealed. Should they? Oh no. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, um, I just sit by there. Yes. So, Carrie, uh, so, this man was just telling me that uh, for the past couple of days or so... Yes, I heard everything. The illusion has to oh, remain okay. somewhat intact, dear. Yeah, I mean, okay. I can hear you guys right now. I don't know if you know. Yeah. But... Fantastic. Getting on. Um... <laughs> when did this start happening? Oh, it was a few days ago. You were probably in the place you couldn't hear. The one corner of the house over there. Yeah, I heard everything else except for the time frame, which I was just about to no. say. <laughs> 
Two and a half days? About that, roughly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the last couple of days have been getting quite bad. Have you seen these things before? Uh, no, actually, I've never seen anything like them. The size is a little weird, bigger than a rat, but smaller than like a possum. It's uh, they got, kind of got a glow to them. Uh, they don't quite glow so much anymore because the whole place is glowing, so they don't really stand out like they used to when it was dark. But uh, yeah, maybe hmm. it's a freak experiment. Maybe, but you would think that if some experiment was going down, then the miners would have been aware of some other group of specialists, mages and the like, and the yeah. equipment being brought in. You haven't seen anything suspicious like that. They kind of appeared out of the blue. Yeah, I mean, we work different shifts, right? We got days, nights, yeah. mid-days and stuff. It, it, no one came or went. It's just us. It's, we okay. got the contract on the place. It's, it's our job, but it's kind of like, a, I don't know, it's kind of like going camping and having a couple of mice scurry in. You don't really see when they come. You just okay. notice them when they're there at some point. And... Well, we'll definitely help you. We're going to help these people. We are in agreement. We always present a united front, and by and large, we are in this to help people. Double check with me next time. Um, but, <laughs> yes, I think we are in this to help you, good sir. That's, that's amazing. Uh, like it's now, people that work down there. Uh, so... Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I'm whispering. Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, how much do you, I... Oh, yeah, I pulled together with the guys to try and uh, expedite things a bit. But, uh... Now, this is a mining operation that has been around for quite some time, and I hear that you guys make enough to make it worth working in a volcano, dormant as it may be. It supports some close to around 100 workers or so, so I'm thinking the value of the job kind of goes up, especially if it scared that many people off. I'm thinking around... three or five... three hundred and fifty gold? Well, I got about two seventy-five. Two seventy-five? You drive a hard bargain. But damn it, man, I'll take it on. Oh, got that, I've got a heart for you. Oh, it's, oh, thank you, sir. That's the <sighs> nicest news I've heard all day. Oh, um, I'll let the guys know. Uh, we're going to clear out, get rid of all the equipment, make sure you're not in any danger. Uh, whatever you've got to do, right. just do it. We'll take care of the mist later. You guys are great. Th th thank you so much. Uh, maybe uh, if, 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 if you want my advice, I'd yes. probably uh, go when it's a little bit late and the weather's cool. It's yeah, pretty hot in there, and in just my opinion, midday is a bit of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you, um, do you need any maps? Oh, it's just a volcano it? where it's okay. a gigantic one that blew up. No, <laughs> no yeah. I mean like inside where you've like dig out. Ah. Dug out. Uh, I'll be honest, just... you can't really get to a whole lot of anything right now because okay. everything's all molten lava and these little critters, so I mean... They're they flooded right. most okay. of the yeah. tunnels, I see. Completely I understand. understand. Yeah. Um, but if you guys need anything, I won't be available, so good luck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Just, yeah, you're going to get... Stay safe. Right. Um, like, you're, like, available now. I mean, um, I'm right now, yeah, but... Uh, so, um, are there any kind of... Is, any kind of specialized footwear that your men have been wearing uh, before oh, the problem got completely no. out of hand. He reaches into a bag and pulls out some boots that have no <laughs> bottoms on them at all, just frayed, melted bits of Great. charred. Just... That's specialized equipment. I've got my boots. It'll work. I'll yeah. make it work. Yeah. Okay. Still fall on your face, poor Timmy. Oh. Oh. Um, you don't have any method, mechanical or otherwise, of actually cooling the temperature, whether it's with arcane magics or some kind of channel, some yeah. system of pumps or anything to a water source? We're just simple folk. We built everything based on our needs at the time, and these new set of needs sprung up pretty randomly and quickly, so it's not really something yeah. we were prepared for. Hmm. All right, well, you know what? We'll either have it done, in which case you've got a bargain for our services rendered, or we won't, and then we won't have to worry about that money anyway. So, and then you'll get to keep it. So it's, it's a win-win for everyone involved. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that you get rid of the things, because that would be great, but... So am I, man. That, yeah, that that's great. going to be our focus, yes. Right. Make um, sure we get rid of them. All right, well, uh, if you could, I'll get the guys out of there, and maybe we can take a look tomorrow morning, <coughs> maybe have it cleared out by then, if we can get back to work, maybe. That would be excellent. Perfect. Beautiful, thank you so much. I stand yeah. up and kind of go and shake yeah. his hand. Gives you a very manly, firm shake, and your hand is quite filthy afterwards. And uh, he walks out, you hear the jing jing of the bell, and away he goes. Now, is there anything you guys want to do or get before you start to make your trek? I'm going to dig into my pocket, mm -hmm. find my pouch, count whatever remaining coin yep. I have, and just see if it's enough to maybe go to market and buy some equipment, mm -hmm. kind of slap 
the equivalent of like horseshoes onto the bottom of some boots, get like a metal sliver if I can afford something like that to actually even tackle the job in the first place. Yeah, now if you need funds to get yourself just kind of set up for this, he would have no problem giving you half up front. All right. And I feel like in your line of work, having very hand to mouth kind of living circumstances, I mm-hmm. feel like half up front would be common because you wouldn't have the bankroll needed to actually fund anything. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm, I tried to keep it together and play it like, we're good. I, I count the money. I'm like, we're not good. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, sir. Yeah. While wow, you're still free, <laughs> I'll yeah. like, catch up to him in the street and be like... I'll need a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so, so out of the two seventy five, he'll give you one twenty five up front. Fantastic. That way you can kind of do some stuff and get what you need to get. Awesome. All right, and then uh, yeah, you can. Uh, we'll say you know you can grab the majority of the things that you need. Uh, if there's anything super special you want for some reason, let me know and we'll see if we can find it. But otherwise, is there anything that you guys want to do before we move on to? All I'm going to be doing is going into my room and. Getting my armor on. Ah, eight hour sure. process. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I hate so much. <laughs> and then I'll <laughs> grab my great sword, yeah. strap it on, make sure everything's strapped in. Get yourself re- looking good. Grab, not re- well, polish up my armor, make it look nice, but. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, grab my little shield and yeah. just the ration pack and I'm ready. Yeah. I'll ready to go. Knock on her door. Mm-hmm. Hey, I managed to get a little bit of the money up front. Here's your share, uh, so that you can outfit yourself accordingly. And I'll throw her twenty-five gold, <laughs> and uh, I'll be like, "You need help into all of that?" Yeah. All right. I'll go and get the halfling before she gets home. <laughs> so, um, she's not far. Yeah. That whole interaction, she's about a block away. You can yell at you go. Hey! Yeah, oh God. I don't pay that woman, and she just reduces the value of my business. But yeah. I'm going to go and get her. She's the menial <laughs> uh, That's about it, other than uh, our little shopping spree for any yeah. of the specialty stuff that we'll need to undertake the mission Perfect. properly. But Okay. okay. Uh, and then we'll leave you for now as we move into a whole other world, a world a little bit different. Now this... There we go. Now this world... Uh, nice is a little bit uh, a little bit smaller. It's actually an island that we're going to. Uh, this is just off the east coast of a completely different continent, and we come into a rather crazy scene where as soon as the water hits the edge of the land, there's a little bit of trees, and then right when the break hits... It's okay, you're not even on camera. We're loud, it doesn't matter. Oh. Past the tree line, there's this nice, flat, very smooth, grassy land mass. Framing the bottom part of this large wall made of stone. This is a little bit different, though, because this is actually a cave, a very special cave. And as we zoom in, we can see something is going on right now. As we see a man running quite aggressively towards the edge of this cave, spider manning <laughs> his way along. Is that what Spider-Man does? <laughs> I hope He's so. He's crossing his way does. <laughs> Spider-Manning his crab way along the wall. And while he does this, it seems as if there's a large... Nice. There's a plethora of men piling out of boats, chasing after where he seems to have gone. And they can't quite catch his eye because... Or he doesn't catch their eye because they're a little distracted by this gigantic, massive... <laughs> meaty, chunky, <laughs> lizard, five-headed oh, flying yeah. dragon <laughs> that is a little bit upset at the random intrusion into her living space <laughs> as she starts roasting them and flaming across this grassy patch, which is no longer green, but rather riddled with flames and little embers as they're screaming in pain. So confused as to what they found, they expected none of this. And all we see is just this lone hero spider Manning looking at all the carnage, glad that it's not him. As he takes this opportunity of convenient distraction to make his way to the cave, he peeks his head in, and you start to see, Lisa, you see the silhouette of a man. And as he walks in, you notice there's a girl there. And you guys make eye contact for the first time as you make your way into the cave and you're no longer silhouetted, you're actually... In the same light as one another now. Mark, what do uh, what is what does Lisa see? 
Uh, she would see a tiefling, mm -hmm. maybe around uh, 25 or so years old. It's pretty hard to pin down. Uh, he is around very there. pale red skin with just white hair, a thin mustache, very slim athletic build. He's got like half a tail, looks like it's been cut off to a stump and bandaged up. Uh, he's got a rapier at its side. Uh, nice. He wears a glove, a black glove on his one hand with a red big gem kind of seems to be embedded in the center oh. of that. Uh, he looks a bit roughed up, definitely sweaty from the climb and uh, escaping a fierce <laughs> dragon. A chunky, meaty <laughs> lizard dragon. <laughs> yeah, he's wearing light garments, no, no armor, just like a purple deep V shirt with a couple hairs kind of sticking yeah. out and some tight black is pants. Is it crushed velvet? Because I'm picturing crushed velvet. It is now. Oh, it beautiful. Is. beautiful. <laughs> Not very breezy, but it works. <laughs> nice. All right, Mr. Crushed Velvet. You look upon the fair maiden. Lisa, why don't you tell the audience what this fair maiden looks like? Well, you'll see a girl mm -hmm. <laughs> that's wearing a long, um, dark green cloak with a hood. Mm -hmm. She'll look at him and she'll say, I knew you'd come. Oh. And she'll take off <laughs> her hood to reveal her long, light blonde hair it's a little messy, and uh, <laughs> nice. she's, uh, she's got big blue eyes, and she's pretty dirty. <laughs> Sweet. And, uh, yeah. She's pretty dirty. <laughs> she's pretty dirty, and she's, she's thin. Yeah. My, I wasn't... I mean... Hello, uh, fair lady. Uh, Hi! <laughs> I'm so glad you came! <laughs> My name is, is Zarek, and I... Okay. I'm, s I'm sorry, uh, you are? I was... I'm Alex Strasso, but you can call me Alex. Oh, I knew this day would come. It came later than I thought, but you came, and you're here, and that's all that matters, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yeah. I'm, I'm very, oh, oh, yes, yes, I'm very happy to see you, too. I, it's been a while since I've... Seen, actually, I, I think I may have been searching for you this entire time. See, I... Yeah. Someone has you been were, looking... That's why you're here. Right. Yeah. Yes. As I look around, is there any more treasure kind of... <laughs> yeah, I know why you're there. Yeah, there's a, there's a treasure. A lot of mm -hmm. things are a little bit ridiculous, like a really large golden statue of someone you've never seen before that you could never realistically carry. Um, a little bit crazy like that, but there's definitely some gold coins in the ground, yeah. uh, some bags, some smaller chests, things like that. All right. All right. Let me just pick up a piece as I'm yeah. keeping conversation. You gotta pick up a nickel at a time. <laughs> <laughs> a little piece of gold there. So, um, what exactly are you doing? Uh, damn it. What are, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you <we> doing? <laughs> Hold on to this accent. It's quite hard for me. Um, are you lost here? What are you doing in this cave? Uh, I live here. Have you not been slain by that dragon? <laughs> well, it, 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 it's fine. No. We're, we're good. We're good. She she knows me. It's okay. It's okay. It's, we're she, tight. She? Yeah. Oh, I think she's gonna find that. You better hide. Yes. You should hide. Ooh. All right. Um, where can I hide? Not here. <laughs> this is where she lives. You don't want to live in here. Oh, so we should probably get yeah, going then. We could go. Yeah. Can we go? Where are we going? I, I, I could take you back across the land that I came from. It's just across the water here. I have a boat. I don't want to die! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not that way, but we can work around. Okay, um, just to be clear, you, you're here, because from my book, right? You're here, to, you're here for me? To rescue me? Romance yes. novels. <laughs> yeah, we're going to run away together. I am here yeah. to rescue you. That's you? <laughs> this is my book. That's you, right? It must be some strange interpretation, but yes. <laughs> She holds up the book, and it's one of those, like, quafted hair, like, holding the fair maiden. Yeah. She, like, Close lays back in a nightgown kind of <laughs> nice. thing. I'm, yeah, I'm going to, like, press the digitation. A little little wind past my hair. Like, <laughs> yeah, as you do that, like, kind of pose at the shirt. Kinda... just like him. It's all coming together. Wow. I didn't know you'd have a tail, but... <laughs> you'd be a little bigger, too, but it's okay. You're here. That's what matters. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't you matter. Would say that. All right. Will, will you come with me then? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Where are we going? Yes, we're going to the place. To Let's the go. To the boats. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. All right. 
<laughs> scamper off. So as you scamper off, you notice that... Uh, Very quietly, hugging the wall. Yes, yeah. You notice that your... Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Your landlord. <laughs> she's a little busy. <laughs> As she's, she uh, a yeah, as you just hear the screaming sounds of people you don't know and the flaming charred bits kind of, just, it's just, it's not a good scene. So you kind of avert your eyes and try to follow the leader there as you make your way towards the shoreline. Uh, you're desperate to try and make your way to the trees. Now, I'm going to have you roll because this could go one of two ways. Why don't you roll stealth for me? Okay. And I'll give you advantage. Because it's a little distracting when you're getting poked by a whole bunch of people with spears that you're setting on fire. Spoiler right. alert. First one roll. Is really set the bad. Tone for the yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. The other way is yeah. not good. <laughs> What'd you get? Natural twenty. Yeah. 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 Seven. Yeah. I need my question. But then wouldn't now. believe. You don't have the <laughs> So, as you're walking with him, he's making his way spider crab wall crawling and like, walking. Pick her up, and just toss her over your shoulder and take her right yeah. down to the So, he's world. making his way along as you're following suit. And he's doing such a good job, you actually lose track of him, and he's about six inches from your face. Because he's finding all these little cracks like and me. crevices. And between all the screaming and yelling and bone crunching is where he's placing all of his movements. So, he's basically completely silent and almost invisible. It's the most impressive thing you've ever seen, although you haven't seen much, so that doesn't really say a lot. But he does a wonderful job. But eventually you break your way through the tree line, and you reach the shore where you see an incredible boat, Lisa. But it's <gasps> just one boat, and it's a little big, and it kind of looks like there should be like 15 to 20 people on it, but there's one guy. Do I see any survivors? <laughs> on the way through the charred field, are you going to stop to like take a no, picture? As we are going, actually. Yeah. As I'm walking, I'm looking. You know what? Yeah, there's one guy still in the boat. He didn't get off. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'll be with you in a second, guys. <laughs> and he just stayed in the boat. And he's drinking from one of the flasks. Oh, oh, as no. he's listening to all this crazy stuff going on. There, uh, there is a little man on my boat. <laughs> I, you stay here. I will take care of this. That's your boat? Yes, absolutely. It's so big. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't so like big. that there's uh, a man on it, considering the metaphor that I'm following. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, can I sneak onto the boat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll sneak onto the boat. He's not too... He, he's, he's getting hammered while he listens to all of his friends die and hides out in a boat <laughs> on an island that he can't get away from right now, so... Yeah, he's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> can I hmm, can I minor illusion myself to look like uh, one of the pre-charred bodies <laughs> maybe the, oh. the leader of the pact like a disguised self yeah but a minor illusion on me as I stand still oh like when uh, like a I mean if you're not I mean I would say you could just cast like a still image in front of you yeah yeah if you just stand I mean, he's drunk enough maybe see him double okay like pre-charred body do you mean completely uncharred and normal body a little char is okay a little <laughs> char is okay yeah it's like a ghost yeah, thing. it's a little bit flamey but not too flamey hey what are you doing off the boats our men are dying but I was no, I was gonna do the thing. Then I couldn't do the thing because I lost my sword. I had a sword. I don't know if you knew uh, the sword uh, was. I was. I go. Uh, I j okay. 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 Please. He, he, up, up in the boat. Okay, I'm good. And he, you can tell he's not a hundred percent there as he reaches for a sword and just grabs the sheath and there's nothing in it. He has a flask and a hollowed out piece of leather. Brave and fool. And he's running. And he, you can see as he gets to the tree line. She's looks, weakened. You can take he, her. He looks back. He goes, yeah. And and as he goes forward, he you can see he just gets like one tree in and then he makes an immediate left and starts to just go around the perimeter. He's not interested in getting in on this fight. Perfect. All right, all right. Uh, the, the Why do you look clear. different? Oh, that's just, I step out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just put on a brave, brave face for some as I am so uh, small. <laughs> Eh, uh, mucho mean. I love that <laughs> nat 20 persuasion. Uh, go! <laughs> Tell him what to. Uh, uh, and I'll help her up the boat. Oh, thank you. All right, now, how do you work this boat? I'm going to try to <laughs> yeah. move the gears. So, 
Try to push it ahead. Yeah, oddly enough, the gears feel really ropey. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit. kind of pulley system. Yeah, like that. Okay, I think I so, that based out. on what I'm hearing from you, I'm going to have you roll. Uh-huh. And we're going to see if you could do uh, like a survival, we'll say. Survival? Yeah. Maybe a history for naval. Oh. Um, yeah, I did sail my way to the island. I mean, I must. That's a little different, you but you know what? I'll tell you what. You tell me what you're rolling for and why, like how it applies, uh-huh. and that will affect the way that I view the issue. All right. Nice. How about an investigation to see how it all kind of works together and what I have to pull for it to move? Okay. <laughs> we might do this in a couple of rolls. Roll an investigation. Okay. 15? Okay. So, yeah, no, you you see the elements of what's going on, and you know this rope goes there, mm-hmm. that attaches yeah, there. Yes. Yep. <laughs> went down there. So you see it all. It doesn't mean you learned how to use it, but you know that those things exist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so now that you know that they exist, uh-huh. and you know where all of them are, mm-hmm. I'll give you advantage on rolling anything applicable. We can say history or survival. On figuring out how, how to actually use the things you've discovered. I we mm. yeah, I think that would just be like a straight up intelligence check. If you want to do it that way, you can I do don't it that really way. Want to, but we'll <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> can you slide of hand? Slide <clears throat> of hand would be the performance of doing it, not trying right. oh, yeah. to do yes. it. Yeah. So straight up intelligence. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Skills. No, not that the one. The problem is all of these ropes seem to be tying all of this stuff down. <laughs> Undoes every rope. <laughs> all right, you're going to try go. maybe another natural 20. <laughs> natural 20! Oh, oh my god! god. No. Who's right there? Mark, can I have oh. a die? He is Prince dice. Charming. Um, yeah! <laughs> Don't worry, I have this. <laughs> go! <laughs> so... <laughs> I will it. <laughs> so go. you say, go, and nothing happens. All faithful. <laughs> But you do know how to get the boat running <laughs> as you go. As you say uh, go, you, go you just off. accidentally knock one of the ropes <laughs> yeah. and it just starts and, sailing away. <laughs> and you're very aware that this boat's a little big for one guy, but you're doing it. Somehow you're doing it. <laughs> just when you think you can't do it, I you never do thought it. I couldn't do it. You never did. <laughs> now, here's the thing you're a few hours from shore, right? It's not too, too far. Mm-hmm. And you think, I can keep this up. Oh, yeah. Pff, I got no this. Problem. Screw this boat. I'm this boat's. This boat's my bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm this boat's bitch. <laughs> but something happens. A few hours go by. And you're not seeing land yet. You start to see a lot of fog, though. And you realize you haven't actually seen any shore yet. And you're getting three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours in. <laughs> and it's very concerning. Can I, can I check like the the water stream if i'm going like against it in the right yep. direction try to figure that out yeah See drop something in the water stuff. put a line in yeah. is the water pretty still or uh yeah okay i don't know what i'm rolling for actually <laughs> so what what is maybe, it maybe that could be like a so survival. that would be like a like a survival sure. or you could do so that would be a three <laughs> So, <laughs> is there really much of a difference yeah. between shallows and open oceans? So, <laughs> as you're checking, you're like, you know what? It's because the way the wind, it, I'm getting <laughs> against it, so it's longer to get there because it's the other, like walking again right. down. Okay, so yeah, and you feel like you put it together in uh, your head. I alternate my course 15 degrees. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. You are so sure that that's that's That'll absolutely gonna fix it, and you're getting a little bit tired at this point of trying to keep this whole thing going on your own. But we'll pause there for just a minute as you struggle to right, keep this relax. ship going. Take it easy under there. I got this. Okay. Let me pay him back over to you two. Now, uh, have you gotten all your your stuff? You <clears throat> geared yourself up. Okay. Yeah. So on the road again. with. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to go on the road again. <laughs> so, as you make your way uh, across, are you do you have any horses? I'm assuming your business is probably pretty cheap. It would be a rented if you really need it kind of basis. Okay. Yeah. So, no yeah. horses. You're making it on your way by foot. Yeah. And if if there's some guy who's going out to his farmer's field after selling some of his goods on, at market, yeah, yeah we'll hop Fast on. To, yeah, like, kind of get carriage. a ride. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, as you make your way, I'll say, yeah. So, I'll say. About a day and some change. Hmm. So if I can get this up here. I'm going to check the map. Because I know you uh, had the thing on there. That's what it is. 
horrified by walking, so it is. Thank you, cool map up. I am. <laughs> I'm actually just getting enough for myself to reference. Because nice. I'm greedy that way. I don't care. <laughs> so it's so actually it's a few days ration. to get there. I'll just pass your ration. Yeah, yeah so okay. a few days worth of sure. rations. Now, this volcano, <laughs> uh, just so you guys know, and so the mm. audience can get an idea of kind of what they're looking at here, uh, it's on the east. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's towards the east side there, right up against the water, and it uh, it's almost separated completely by water as the rivers and stuff kind of almost reconnect with the, the, mm-hmm. the major water, right? But they, they don't quite make it, so you get this little bit of a hook and a volcano, and that's kind of important because that little bit of land that connects, that's what... They, that's what they used to just travel to and from to get what they need and land, mine okay. and do all that stuff. Underneath all of this remaining land that's only really accessible through water, it's considered Pirate's Cove. Mm-hmm. And people typically don't go there for obvious reasons. Uh, Carrie is a little bit familiar with yeah. that. She has some background with that. But mm-hmm. So you'll be kind of going up and around just so you know, but uh, eventually you do make your way there. Now, is there anything that you guys want to do on the, you know, few days of travel? Not in particular. No. I mean, I'm mostly keeping to myself. I've kind of brought some of the paperwork that's outstanding, just kind of leafing that's through. So I'm like, um... this one right here. This man, if we were to engage him in a fist fight in an alley, mm-hmm. we could beat him, right? Oh. Uh, well. That's a good question. That makes that easy. And I just let it go in the wind. <laughs> I just let the bill drift away. <laughs> Oh, voila. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, flipping through. So, uh, yeah, this guy will straight up kill us. I'll put that at the front. <laughs> just <laughs> sorting through our finances. Yeah, you guys, you guys kind of, it's a little bit past due, so yeah, it is a good chance to do, do that. What do you normally do? What do I normally do? Um, I just wait a little bit longer before I eventually throw it out. Oh, okay. Tried and true. I mean, I can do this. Well, and I just kind of change my clothes, oh, yeah. my face, all that. Right? Comes in handy. Yes. I just alter the voice a little bit, and I just open a shop in a different part of town. Oh, you, oh! So you have like shops all around town? Ah, that's right. <laughs> You're a new hire. Yeah. So, um, the way that this business works, you see, there's a real problem where people aren't really. There's what it's worth to society, and then there's what people are willing to pay for it. And, yeah. and sometimes, when you have a job that people really respect someone for doing they'll say that that respect that they get from the community is worth a certain amount of coin, and so they'll pay them that much less coin. Okay, and I well, explain okay, okay, in a the, bullshit yeah. way how we are I'll so respected but make little money. Yeah, I will just like nab the papers off of you and <laughs> just look through them and see if there's anyone that doesn't particularly look like a, a bad parent, like they've done bad things. Uh... Like, I'm going to check for it. I mean, any... there's a couple of, yeah. like, l- money lending houses, yeah, things like that, like loan sharks, small yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. Like yeah. yeah, I mean, there's, you know. As long as they're all bad people, I'll be like, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I'll get them. definitely, yeah. I'll get them. You might, this you guy might end up sticking around for a while. The, the ones that kill you, no, I can go and get him. Easily. Yeah, yeah I know Give he's a... old and he's small, but he's he's got, like, a hundred guys who are, like, really done up. We'll go over the details. I went over a hundred guys on a ship, for God's sake. We're not going to war with a banking goat. Okay. That's kind of like a rule one of the business there, maybe, Harry. Okay, maybe later. And <laughs> I just <laughs> talk to Harry. And then I'll just like, like the rest yeah. of the journey. And then I'll zen out and be like, what, did, what were you told? <laughs> they don't fight. Be calm, go into it calmly. And I'll just almost meditate and just like, yeah. Go, yeah. yeah. So a lot of it is like father-daughter conversations yeah. about like when to pick a fight, when to stand your ground, when yeah. to like back off, yeah. you know. Get back up again because that's what really counts, you know. That Except counts, it's but... from a father who is clearly <laughs> not all there and is kind of sneaking in some justifications for his stuff. That's that's what pretty much goes on for about a... Get you how to get ahead in the world. <laughs> <laughs> not judge me while you're doing it. <laughs> Fantastic. Nice. So yeah, you guys travel and... Uh, you seem to make pretty good time. There's not a whole lot going on. And to be honest, that whole area there, it's kind of just dead. Nothing's really over there aside from the work that they do in the volcano. And uh, since it's out of commission, it's a pretty straight shot and there's not a whole lot in your way. So you eventually uh, get your way towards the entrance and there's a um, kind of a... It almost feels like when a subwoofer like hits you in the chest and you feel it mm. more than you hear it. Kind of like that. And everything seems to kind of get a little bit blurry, almost like you just got hit with something. And there's a large tree, 
just adjacent to the water. It almost touches the water line. And as you guys make your way around, you get hit with that. You both feel it. And this tree is big, and it is strong. And as the blurriness starts to clear, something hits you, Calvin. Mm -hmm. This falls onto your face. Oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought the rumble is what hit me, but I'm like, <laughs> oh. I'm like, I thought I threw this into the wind. Oh, all right. The fear of five dragon heads tearing him limb from limb was almost as scary as the debt collectors who sought him out. As he approached the cave opening, he could barely see the manic maiden who would be his <laughs> ticket to freedom. That sounds like a pirate nursery rhyme. Yeah, but they can't read, right? I mean, so, like and a... I'll add into this, by the way, the word dragon means nothing to you guys. Oh. Dragon? Yeah, dragon, dragon basically. Uh, uh, hmm. The fear of five dr dragon heads. What the hell? This must be some nonsense the miners were reading to Maybe. keep themselves from going insane, but I can't see this helping. It's pure nonsense. And five heads. <laughs> what has five heads? <sighs> and as you guys kind of assess what just happened, and we go back to, to Mark and Lisa. Now, you guys have been on the open water for a long time. <laughs> Where are we going and when are we getting there? Oh, yes, this is the 4,000th time you've asked. It's, it's been like a good five or six days. Oh, it's uh, been a long time. Well, another good berry, please. Yeah, there you, you are it's long out of rations. You are hungry. When you reach in for the water, it just <laughs> tastes gross, but at least it doesn't seem salty for some reason. It's just, there's not a whole lot of oomph left in you. But... Fear not. For in the middle of the night, as you sleep, you feel that same feeling, a big <laughs> in your chest. And as you open your eyes to this sort of blurred vision, it's not nighttime at all anymore. You're standing there as the sun's kind of almost on its way down. What in the world? And as you look over the edge, you realize you can't... The horizon looks a little bit wonky, but... That's because as you look over, you realize you're off the ground. Your ship is perched in this massive tree. <laughs> oh, that ain't right. Overlooking <laughs> the shore of this volcano on the edge of this continent. <laughs> and nothing looks familiar to you. And as you get that page in the face, you sort of assess what's going on. And you realize there's still more things falling, little bits of tree leaves and debris and stuff. And you look up and holy hell... There is a ship, a relatively big one, perched up in this tree, and there is no signs of scraping or, or gnarling away at the, the body as it scraped its way in. It looks like it was just placed there. Oh, I'll, I'll go. I'm gonna pull my helmet on. Wake up, Alex. And get my shield. Go down below. Alex. Um, Good morning! I think we've arrived. Uh, Holy hell. <laughs> we are precisely in the arrival tree. <laughs> That's an arrival tree? What does that mean? <laughs> that is where we disembark, of course. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. He's so small. Right. <laughs> so good. So um, yeah, so we can make our way down and I can return you to the, the people who uh, sent me looking for you. Papa! Yes, <laughs> of course, Papa! papa. Yeah. Well, uh, what, uh, what city okay, exactly was he in? Because I, I, I think he moves around a lot, I guess. <laughs> Do you remember your childhood? Remember! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Papa! <laughs> Where was your home? In a, t in a town? Oh, no worries. We'll find it. We'll find it. Whitehaven! Our, I think that's actually not that far away. Just over the hills and across the desert, and we should be right there. Two days tops. Desert? Yes. Yeah. You'll hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> But anyways, off the boat we go. Yeah, and you just hear, remember, remember, Papa, Papa. <laughs> Something weird's happening in there. Yes, now, Carrie, this is one of two things. One, these are poor people who are in need of help, which means that, I mean, that's we a nice looking, that, that's a nice looking boat. That means that if we do help them, they'd be willing to pay and we'll help them get on okay, their way. Okay, but I'm gonna go to help that girl in distress, clearly. Well, hold on. 
it may sound like a girl in distress, but there's that second option. It may be oh, the meddling of mages. Someone and, who's pretending to be a girl. Yeah. This could be an elaborate yes. ruse, in which case we could feel yeah, totally I justified to, I used taking to them do out. That. Taking the boat. Like, yeah, if you just do this voice and then everyone falls for you. It's you used great. to do what? When I was a pirate, I told you about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I. Oh. You know how sorry. I get when yes. we've just got you a payday. Very, you were very drunk. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> weapons up. Get ready Shield. for a climb. <laughs> Hello in there. Hello. Oh. There's a welcome party. There's more. Hi. I would peek oh over my. the edge. He was there. <laughs> yeah, as you peek over the edge, you see this uh, this elf and this man woman type. <laughs> shiny Which one's armor. the man woman? Is he shiny? That's, armor. To be, that's to be determined. <laughs> as they yeah, as they shout out at you, and you see this little set of eyes peeking over the edge, as an excited voice screams from somewhere else, going, "Ah, oh, welcome party! What do you want? Well." I mean, I was wondering more what you wanted, because it's... If I was in your position, I would want that boat down. You're stuck in a tree. Yeah. It's right where it's supposed to be. Um, It's it's for easy descending without getting our boots wet, you see. I find the best way of doing that is not getting them up in a tree. They go in water. No, watch, watch. And I just flip my way down, branch to branch. Performance check. First impressions (laughs) say a lot. (laughs) Roll. (laughs) Performance or acrobatics? Acrobatics. Depending how you want to do it, performance or acrobatics. Actually, yeah, Acrobatics is a pure utilitarian one. Performance yeah. would make it look good. Yeah. yeah. So then I will go performance. I knew it. <laughs> if it's another natural twenty, <gasps> then I'm quit right your now. dice. <laughs> it's an eighteen. That's still pretty good. good. Still want to take your mm-hmm. dice. Yeah. So yeah, you see this guy and he does some pretty. What did you do? Performance. Yeah. Nice. So it is a pretty cool flip, but then he does this like spin in the air, like around like corkscrew style, and then spins again and flips and then lands perfect. Like, Look at that, not a drop of water. Based on the nonsense <laughs> he's saying and how gracefully he descends, I'm like, this I'll is the meddling the of floor. mages. <laughs> 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 Prepare yourself for battle. Yeah. It oh, looked, it looked a little ready. ridiculous. It really wasn't like you could do anything with it. Like, it wasn't that impressive in a combat scenario. No, or yeah. You're not coming any closer. Well, you know. I don't really want to. That's Who are you fine. with? Well, I am with Alex Traza. It's me. She's Hi. my uh, companion Who's... for the time. Hi. Who's Who are you? Carrie, go on. Well, I'm Carrie. A knight in shining armor! Do you need some help getting down from there? Okay! And I, like, (laughs) will go up to you. Yeah, I'll assist as well. Has has he taken you? Did he take you from somewhere? No, we're going together! Okay, okay, well, I'll help you down. And I will whisper to you at the same time, are you okay? Has he... Has this man taken you? <laughs> well, you are far too beautiful I'm, to be traveling with such a miserable I'm clearly like a couple inches being. taller than him, more like bigger than him. I can't be bothered to climb, so I'm <laughs> sitting at the bottom while you guys are climbing this tree. Just do you want? <laughs> oh yeah, I'll give, you, I'll give you some food and then go and help them down. Just, just, yeah. just swing twice if you need some help. Um, how tall are you? Oh, that was twice. <laughs> <laughs> how tall are you? Uh, I'm like... Five, six. Okay, I'm standing over you looking down at you. <laughs> okay. Like, do you need help? <laughs> uh, if you could ex- assist me in getting Alex Traza down, this Absolutely. would be her first journey by boat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I have to do like an acrobatics or something to try and get up? So what are you trying up? to do? You want to see if I you can get into to... the boat treehouse? <laughs> like... No, no, I want to get up enough so that I can reach up to her and grab her and like put her down. You want to lend her some assistance getting up, pull her up, basically? <laughs> Yeah, uh, and I'm mean, helping. Yeah, if I mean, I would I just make it look nice. <laughs> if you want to make it look nice, it would show. be more performance. If you want to just like get up there, it would just be athletics. Can she do it at advantage because I'm helping? Mm-hmm. Are you helping her? Yeah. Yeah, if you want to give her a hand, get up, give a little boost or something oh. like that, or grab her arm or give her a pull. I got a sixteen. Okay, yeah, I'd say you'd, especially with some but help. Performance. You can... Okay. Make it look nice. So yeah, you can get up there, but it looks looks pretty cool too. It's not it's not incredible, but it's pretty good. <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, so you eventually see this man, woman, armor plated, beastly chick uh, make her way up towards <laughs> you to give you a hand, uh, fair maiden coming down off the ship. Wow. You look, you look like you're from my book. <laughs> oh, am I? Everyone's what book? From my book. see. Here it is. Is that you? What, what is it? <laughs> the book about a princess who gets saved by 
A knight in shining armor, really? Okay, okay. I think we've established that that was me. <laughs> but, sh- but that looks more like... I, I think scene? she's one of the side characters that's just here to help See, there us wasn't, There's no tail. <laughs> no, t- no tail. Yeah, you no notice tail? he has a tail. Do I? Yeah. Yeah. Have, I have I seen a tiefling before? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll tell you. Then, what, why should I have a tail? No, you don't have a tail. Yeah, yeah I don't. He has um, a tail. <laughs> he said that he was from my book. But you look like you're from my book. Tear, I think they've been drinking seawater. I just hear... Because I'm sitting down at the bottom yeah. of this tree and you're in the tree. I'm like, very good, Carrie. Keep it up. Thick tear, I think they've been effort. drinking seawater. Ah, all right. I assure you, <laughs> we have not. Well, we are quite sane. We are just a little uh, lost at the moment. I'm looking up from solid I'm ground at you guys. We're not in Oh, we will. We will <laughs> definitely go see Papa. But first, we must find out where exactly we have landed, since our little journey by boat you has said taken you us knew far where we were going. off course. <laughs> I tell you, it would appear the gods have intervened, and uh, not much I can do about that, my fair lady. Okay. As long as you get me to Papa. <laughs> Smooth. You're, um, you're in Catholic. We're on a very important mission, actually, at the moment. And I do believe proper interactions have been made. I am Zarek. Yes. Oh, Zarek. Zarek. Can okay. we get down from the tree? This is where Zarek, you say your Zarek. name. Oh, I'm Carrie. Carrie. Yes. <gasps> Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is all mine, as long as you don't stab me in the back, of course. He's not going to stab you. We're all friends. I'm what would I have to gain from this? Well, you do look like Tell yours. me, what would I have to gain? <laughs> <laughs> Teach me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, you don't look like you were in that shipwreck or anything. You just seem to be here, and I don't know who you are, and around here it is not very safe. Yeah, as you see, like, the little half-beard I've been growing over the journey, <laughs> and I look wrecked from just being at sea. Well, I might have been on there for a while. <laughs> yes. I'm surprised you weren't attacked if you were sailing around these waters. He said it was going to take three hours and it took like six days. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) I mean, so we think. The days, they became a little confused. I mean, it was night, day, day, night. The days became night and night became day. Things became very (laughs) irrational. Um, I don't suppose you could point us to the nearest city or town. I mean, we were just looking for safety and answers. Well, we could take you there. And then I'll just I'll Perfect. shout down. Okay, we're taking them back to the town. They're lost. <laughs> are, you, are you are you guys <laughs> fit enough to um, help us just for a couple of hours? We're pretty close to our quest, and then we'll be heading back. Help help you help you do what? Exactly? Well, if we leave you right now, you might be attacked by bandits or pirates. That is definitely possible. So I think you should stay close to us. Right. But. But we, we have, have to do something for you. No, we have a quest to do. You can stay outside. It is a want, quest. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't made commission for anything. What? It's a quest. It's a quest. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting down there cool. like, yeah. I hope I... she's told them about the guiding fee, if she's told them about any <laughs> <laughs> side <laughs> things dear and there. No, she's just making <laughs> sure. She's very cautious of him. Her, not so much because she's a weak little girl. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, so. Astraza? Should we... Hit a ride with these strange fellows. Who are going on a quest? Uh, apparently. Yeah! I mean, it's a small price to pay for our safety. And for some answers. She looks really strong. We should stay. Yeah. She does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very strong. Okay! (laughs) (laughs) So, need some help down from this tree? Oh, I'm fine. (laughs) 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 All right, um... Carrie, oh, yeah, we're helping you down. Yeah, once you get <laughs> down, <laughs> yeah, just jump down and like a big fud <laughs> on the ground. Once you're down at ground level, <laughs> and you're like, all right, so what exactly is the deal? These people are looking at us in a way that suggests that we deal? are now a group. Um, oh, God. Um, what exactly have you worked out with them? As he's so whispering to her, I'm just going to get like closer and closer. I'm just going to push her away. <laughs> Hello. Um, so... They're lost, they're going to the closest town, and they're going to tag along with us to the mines, and then possibly help us out. I don't know, I think think they would just stand outside, I don't think they really have that much punch in them, and then they're going to follow us back to the town. Alright, so as I understand it, 
these two vagabonds are now going to be following us to our work in the mines, not helping. Then we will walk them back to the city. And what is the fee that you propose to the gentleman? Has he accepted your initial offer? I didn't think of a fee. You didn't think of a fee? No. You're holding like thousands of golds worth of debt in your breast pocket. Didn't think of a fee? Not like one coin? No. All right. I'll work I something out. I stopped thinking about Hello. You Good Hi. <laughs> Hello, excitable little one. My name is Victor Benelifon. Wow. And That's you are? Name. Thank you. I'm <laughs> Alex Strauss, but you can call me Alex. It's like a, like a nickname. Lovely. I like it, and I think I'll take you up on it. Can I call you Vicky? <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. Victor. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> Vicky. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll uh, look back. Listen, at them. Vicky. Thank you very much for taking us on. I mean, we it, we are so grateful. Uh, we owe you our lives, really. And you are so kind, so generous to do this out of the goodness of your own heart. <laughs> it really is a testament to the goodness of people like this. Yeah. Yes. And you know what? Carrie was informing me of your plight and the fact that. You are strangers in need, and that's what we do, is we go around and help those who need our help, those who cannot help themselves. Um, and we plan on doing exactly that, but we do have a little something that we have to resolve before we start heading back to the nearest city, the area of civilization that you're looking for, and... Pay is that Whitehaven? Are we close uh, well, to Whitehaven? I mean... Um, no. Uh, I don't know what town... Uh, is it like a... Is it like a fishing hamlet around here somewhere or something? I haven't heard of Whitehaven before. It's, it's really small, but it's probably close. It's uh, just a few days' travel uh, east of the Rambling Coast. East of the what? Rambling. The Rambling Coast. I mean, we mustn't be too far from Rambling this Co area. Um, I'm, I'm actually not from on the coast. I, I'm kind of more of a land clabber, really, I so mean, I'm not s but familiar you with your know it, naval... Yeah names for coasts and things. Is that what it's... It's not called that on a map, right? What's what's the, the written one that I would know if I was a man from a city? I mean, it's, you know, the, the great arenas of the Rambling Coast. I mean, it is known across the realm. Yeah, everybody uh, knows the Rambling Coast. The, I mean, people gather from everywhere. You every have to year. know it. No. Terry, help me I, out. Uh, are I, you familiar? No, I've been literally everywhere around here. That's what I mean. I'm from used here. to pilgrimage all over and it's not I think they've been drinking seawater. <laughs> oh, right. Hold on, hold on. Everyone knows the rambling coast. Um, I am going to go out on a limb here and assume that the same thing that put your boat in a tree means that you might be a little bit misplaced. Yes. Is that a safe assumption? Well, you, you, you have no idea what the rambling coast is, so perhaps you are misplaced. That is a possibility. Your boat, still in a tree. Maybe your tree is in my boat. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> they, oh. <laughs> they were gone for five, six days, maybe. So I think, yeah. Five, six days. might be a bit crazy. All right. How so, about this? Yeah. <laughs> you guys, crazy. follow along with us. No payment. Goodness of our hearts. We're going to undertake a little bit of a mission. We have some vermin to eradicate on behalf of a mining community that is desperately in need. The thing is, apparently these creatures are very, very hot. So, we don't want to get hurt and all of that, so if you wouldn't mind lending a hand, cleaning up this problem, that way we know that we will get done this mission whole and hail, and we can guide you back to civilization. And from there, there's a great library, I'm sure we can find a cartographer's guild, even just look upon a map, we could just rent one, and we'll find your rambling ghost for you. How does that sound? I don't want to get hurt. Yes, as long as you can assure me that my friend here will come to no harm. She is very important to me. How about this? I'll make you a promise. I promise that she will come to no harm, so long as you promise me that you will ensure that she comes to no harm. I'll try what? holding his hand. <laughs> I'll just be like, come on now, we all win. <laughs> this is a page from your book, you should know this. <laughs> so long as you promise not to let her be hurt under your watch, I promise I will not let her be hurt under mine. Sounds agreeable. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be. All right, so we're off in the direction of a mountain that spews lava, like that volcano right over there. We'll be in and out before you know it, have this little thing cleaned up, 
and then we'll be on our way back to the big city. You help us on this little thing, and then we'll consider it even. That's how you work in a fee without working in a fee. Okay. They were basically going to do that. I already figured that out with them. They told me they were going to wait outside. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. I didn't know how strong they were. They were do you want to go into a volcano? I'm just going to mean, lower her visor. Stuck with these <laughs> people, so. Smile. It's a little I mean, scary, but she looks really tough. If it looks dangerous, just step away and you know, leave them to their fate. Okay, we'll just run we'll away. Yeah? Whatever happens, okay, happens. Just we'll don't just run get away if it's not safe. Yes. Okay. Now, um, there is an agreement of sorts between strangers who meet upon the road, and I would like to uh, engage in this agreement with you that... By my honor, <laughs> as a man of Catholic and an upstanding citizen thereof, that I will not betray you in any way, shape, or form while you are in my care. And you shall not spit upon that extended hand, and you will help me in any way that you can, so long as it doesn't put you in harm's way. What, what are you doing with your hand? What is it? It is a Why you casting hand? a spell? I think he wants you to spit on his hand. No, you would know it. Hmm? I think he wants you to spit on his hand, but I don't know why. Yeah, strange customs. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want a handshake. You put your hand on my hand. <laughs> it's a damn handshake. We well, haven't heard of dragons. They haven't heard of handshakes. Right. I feel like one is more rare than the other. <laughs> okay. Still a little fruity, but... Put it there. So. All right. When he says that, I give him the manliest handshake Vic Terra is capable of. Real strength. Uh, would it be strength or could I do performance for it? You can do performance. Hey. Can we have a performance yeah. off then on Ooh. this? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Performance off. See who's the right. manlier handshake of a performance. <laughs> <Yeah>. 17 total. <laughs> 17 total, what's yours? It's a nine. Yeah. <laughs> are you at minus one strength? Because so am I. Well, I used, uh, that was with my... I did performance, but yeah, are we both minus one strength characters? It's <laughs> very possible. <laughs> Yes. So yes, the two I, yeah. weakest Even men in the world just... <laughs> yeah. uh, it's the worst version of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking down at you, even with my visor, and just disappointed. Yeah, he like gives you like that handshake that's like kind of like this, and then he kind of yeah. does like this like weird thing. Yeah. With his finger. <laughs> I'm gonna like, like put uh, my hands on both of their hands and be like, mm-hmm. yeah. I, yeah. Do the, uh, I do the Trump shake and I pull him in and don't let go first, and he's just uh. <laughs> establish dominance. Got him good. <laughs> <laughs> go discard him. <laughs> Oh, team go! <laughs> team go. Oh God! We'll send them in first. <laughs> yeah. Nice. But this no, away to the mountain, and yeah. and I think as we're moving towards the mountains, given that we're uh, about an hour and forty into our live stream and about an hour ten into our Perfect. thing, I think we're gonna put a little pause, grab a bathroom break, and if you're watching this on YouTube, we'll just see you at part two because we're just gonna upload it separately. Because yeah. why not? Anyways, see you in a bit. Cheers.